Thanks for tuning in to Tiffany Chanel Luxury here. Today we're going to do a tutorial in the Lace Wig 101 training series. Today's lesson will be on how to apply a lace wig. Raquel will be our model again for this video. So the first step is to use a stocking cap. Today we're going to use a brown stocking cap um, that is very close to a nylon stocking. Um, it's just a little bit shorter. So on your own head you want to put the stocking cap on to cover up your hair. And the reason for that is because if you have black hair and you have on a lace wig, when you make a part without the stocking cap, you will see black in the part instead of your skin color. So you want to try to match your skin color as good as possible before you put your wig on. The reason that you want to use a stocking cap the color of your skin is so that when you part it, you will see your skin tone in the part versus the color of your hair. So after you put on your stocking cap, again, once again, you want to only show, only cover up your own hair. Once you have your stocking cap on, then you want to put on some sort of adhesive, if you're going to use adhesive, um, onto your head. So in this case, we're going to use lace wig tape. There are various different types of tape. This one happens to be a perforated uh, very wide plastic tape. So on your own head you're going to cover up a part of the stocking cap and then a part of your skin. But you want it to be high enough on your forehead so that your wig is not low and it doesn't look abnormal. So you want to press it on and again the reason that you are covering up some of the stocking cap is to make sure that it stays on and it doesn't slide back. So once it's on, you just peel it off. And part of it will be on your skin and part of it will be on your stocking cap. Now some people like to go in the extra mile and use glue. For extra hold, you may want to also use glue on top of your tape. The different tapes that I brought are no tape glue, that's one, ultra hold glue, that's another, mighty tight glue, or liquid tape. Now the difference between the different glues are usually the, the glue base and the length of time that the glue holds. Um, for example, some are silicone based, some are latex based. You just have to pick the type that will work the best for you. Some of them also hold longer than others. For example, no tape and ultra hold are the longest hold glues that we sell and they can hold anywhere from two to four weeks. So assuming we were going to also use glue to hold down the wig, you would just open up your glue. You could use, um, some of the glues come with a brush. You can use a brush to apply it like so or you could use a popsicle stick or something disposable because these do get gooey and you don't want to have to hold on to it or clean it. So you apply a thin layer of glue as well onto the tape. The thinner the better. So if it comes out thick you want to take your popsicle stick and thin it out as much as possible. Now the key to the glue types that we recommend are to make sure that they dry all the way before you try to apply your wig. Now the reason is for the tapes that, the reason is for the glues that I've shown, if you try to apply your wig before the glue is dry, then the wig will not hold as long and in some cases it won't hold at all. So I've just applied that and then you may want to fan it or just be a little bit patient and wait for it to dry. So when the wig, when the glue dries, you want to touch it a little bit to make sure it's dry. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but when I tap this glue, I have a lot of goo. You don't want to put it on in this case. That means it's still too wet. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes, maybe fan it a little bit to make sure it's dry and then we'll try again in a few minutes.
Okay, now the glue is dry. I've touched it. It's tacky, that's what we call it. It's not all the way dry, it's not bone dry, but it's tacky. You can kind of feel the stick, but there is no residue coming off of my fingers. And when that happens, then it's ready to apply. So for this tutorial, we're gonna use a Yaki, which is uh, like a relaxed texture, Indian Remy wig. So it's supposed to look like relaxed hair. It's a 1B color. It's about 16 inches long and it's a lace front wig. So when you have your wig, you want to make sure that you line it up with your hairline. So right here, if you can see the front of the wig, we're gonna just move it down to our glue. And you take your front part of your lace and just kind of dab it on. Press, 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 press. And when you get it to exactly where you want it to be, then you kind of rub it in a little bit. Now, if it's not placed properly, if you're not happy with the placement of the wig, then you don't want to press it you, because you can still lift it up at this point. All right, so I'm satisfied with the placement of this wig on that side, and now I'm gonna do the other side. So I just press it here, press. Now this is a lace front wig. If it were a full lace wig, then we'd also have to do the same with the back. But when I do my wigs, I only do the front, I do the front part first because you want to make sure that one is perfect because that's what people will see the most and then you do the back. So when you're satisfied with the placement of the wig, everything is okay, it looks good, then you want to take a bandana and tie it tightly around the hairline for about 20 minutes until it is completely dry. So after your wig is completely dry, after your glue is dry, your tape is dry and you're satisfied with the placement, you want to Brush the hair, make sure that you are completely satisfied with the placement of the wig. If you happen to have any excess glue that you want removed, you're just gonna use a um, cotton ball, use a little bit of rubbing alcohol on the cotton ball, not grocery store alcohol, um, but 99% alcohol. That is a much stronger concentration of alcohol that is not typically sell, sold in beauty supply stores or grocery stores, um, but hair companies do sell it. Um, you squeeze out your cotton ball and you just rub it lightly on the excess glue and it'll come right off without removing the wig. And there you have it. Thanks for tuning in to Tiffany Chanel Luxury Hair, the diamond standard in hair extensions.